Some people call puns the lowest form of humor, but you have to admit, quality punning is a fine art, almost as much as cooking. And if you watch Bob's Burgers, then you've seen that food and puns go hand in hand. It's actually the special and the first thing anyone would order if they got to visit the Belcher's restaurant, the burger of the day. Hey everyone, I'm Cade with Channel Fred Raider, and today we're shining light on Bob's Burger of the Day, those unsung heroes in the background of the hit animated comedy. At least, burgers are my hero. These wonderful daily specials are a treat trademark running gag of the show and they're carefully selected by the show's creator Lauren Bouchard. There are over 100 burgers to choose from but we've narrowed it down to the very very best. So fire up your grill because we're counting down the top 10 Bob's Burgers of the Day. Let's get cooking. Number 10, Home for the Holidays Burger. From Season 3, Episode 9, God Rest Ye Merry Gentle Mannequins. The holidays are the perfect time to get a little bit old-fashioned, and the name of this burger is just that. A good, old-fashioned, spirited pun. For anyone who can tell, it's a play on the Christmas Carol, There's No Place Like Home for the Holidays. And those aren't just hollow words. In the episode, God Rest Ye Merry Gentle Mannequins, the Belchers really do bring someone home for the holidays. It's Chet. The episode is exactly the kind of heartwarmingly weird theme that we've grown to love from Bob's Burgers, and the burger of the day follows suit. It's an average burger on a roll of challah. Glad to see that the Belchers are throwing some of that holiday cheer Hanukkah's way. Number 9, The Child Molester, from Season 1, Episode 1, Human Flesh. You can't beat the classics, even if the classic is, well, an awkward joke. The Child Molester was the name of the first ever burger of the day seen on the show, and if you ever needed a reason why Bob doesn't always get good business, well, here it is. Now you may ask, what did this poor burger do to deserve such a name? Well, it comes with candy, of course. So naturally, this was the best name. Okay, maybe not. This one actually popped up in the same episode that the Belchers were accused of being cannibals. So the whole scenario was a little bleak. Which is why, yeah, we'll move on now. Number 8, Little Swiss Bunshine Burger, from Season 2, Episode 7, Moody Foodie. We have to give points for burgers of the day that pull off a double whammy. Two puns for the price of one. Season 2's Moody Foodie gave us just that, with the Little Swiss Bunshine Burger. But wait, you may be thinking, there's Swiss cheese on it. But Bunshine? Bunshine, Cade, buns don't shine. As a matter of fact, sweet viewer, buns do shine, because they're buttered. Boom! Mic drop. The Bob's Burgers Experiment blog also adds mushrooms, caramelized onions, brown gravy, and a hot pretzel bun. When a solid pun meets a tasty recipe like that, it's a match made in burger heaven. And speaking of burger heaven, number seven, Rest in Peas Burger. From season one, episode three, Sacred Cow. While Bob's Burgers usually takes the wholesome high ground over its animation domination counterparts, a dark joke every now and then helps to spice things up. In season one's Sacred Cow episode, the final burger of the day is the Rest in Peas Burger, in honor of Mulissa the Cow, who tragically died that very same episode. But the burger isn't just in honor of Mulissa, it is Mulissa. After her passing, Bob cooked her up into his daily special. She's actually resting in peas and carrots. The rest in peas also happen to be Bob's 100,000th burger, according to whatever poor soul was keeping track. So it marks a pretty momentous day in the Belcher's career. Thanks, Melissa. We'll never forget you. Rest in peas. Number six, the Gouda Burger from season three, episode 23, The Unnatural. It's gonna be tricky coming up with so many Gouda burger of the day puns. Okay, sorry, that was a little much. In season three's The Unnatural, the Belchers and Mort return to the diner after Gene's baseball game, and Mort notices that the Gouda cheeseburger has yet to be named. Tina, who has recently discovered the glorious benefits of caffeine, spits out some potential options. These include Wooda Kuda Gouda, you Gouda be kidding me, as Gouda as it gets, Gouda Gouda gumdrops, a few Gouda men, Gouda Gouda Two Shoes, which comes with shoes, sounds like an expensive burger, and Gouda Day, sir. Wow, Bob, that's the one you were drawing a blank on? Gouda job. Personally, I would have liked Welcome to Gouda Burger, home of the Gouda Burger, can I take your order? Number five, Sweaty Palms Burger, from season two, episode eight, Bad Tina. This one appeared in the background of season two's Bad Tina episode, along with another burger of the day, the Sit and Spinach Burger, which we'll throw in an honorable mention to. To an outsider, the Sweaty Palms Burger may not seem very appetizing. Who wants to eat something that sounds like it was made by a pair of sweaty hands? The name is a bit of a turnoff, but the pun game is still strong. This concoction is served with Parmesan cheese, artichoke tapenade, and spicy hearts of palm. See, now you're getting it. The palms are sweaty because they're so hot from being spicy. Pretty clever, Bob, but we're betting this burger didn't sell too well. 
Number four, Bohemian Radishy Burger from season four, episode seven, Bob and Deliver. Is this the relish life? Is this just fant honey? Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. Okay, I'm done. The season four episode, Bob and Deliver, presented us with the Bohemian Radishy Burger, a nod to the most epic sing-along song of all time, Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. So what burger is worthy of being named after such a masterpiece? Well, the Bob's Burger Experiment blog says it's topped with honey, Dijon mustard sauce, yellow pepper relish, and pickled radish, all inside a sunflower honey oat bun. And that really sends shivers down my spine. Number three, fifth day of Christmas burger. From Season 3, Episode 9, God Rest Ye Merry Gentle Mannequins. Here's another Burger of the Day from Season 3's Christmas Special, because Burgers of the Day are the gifts that keep on giving. This time, it's the fifth day of Christmas Burger. It comes with five golden rings of onion. Hopefully the burger itself does not contain four culling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree, because that is far too much poultry for one hamburger. And to be honest, it's a little bit gamey at that. The onion rings will do just fine, though five is a little stingy. Looks like Scrooge needs to be visited by the ghost of Burger's present. Number two, the cauliflower's cumin from inside the house burger from season four, episode two, Fortnite. In season four's Halloween episode, Fortnite, also known as the pseudo bottle episode, where the junior belchers are locked in a cardboard fort with Aziz Ansari. The seasonal burger of the day is the cauliflower's cumin from inside the house burger. It's an allusion to the iconic scene of the 1979 classic, When a Stranger Calls, where the plucky babysitter discovers that the creepy phone calls are coming from inside the house. Ooh, it's a trope that has inspired horror movies from a generation and inspired the name of this festive food. So this burger gets points for the epic pop culture reference and bonus points for the double whammy. Thankfully, it's not just the name that's great, the recipe is solid too. Roasted cauliflower served with Indian spices like cumin and paprika is a pretty popular dish. And the Bob's Burgers Experiment page mixes in jalapeno cheese, lettuce, onion, tomato, and cilantro. Take it or leave it. The only scary thing about this burger is how good it sounds. Monsters and humans would eat it alive. Number one, the Meat Saya from season one, episode 10, Burger Wars. The prize for number one burger of the day, of course, goes to our Lord and Savior, who died for our sinews, the Meat Saya, an alchemic blend of beef tartare within a medium well burger within a beef wellington. The turducken of hamburgers, a meaty inception of flavor. It's the most difficult burger known to all of mankind, and the Bob's Burgers Experiment block won't even tempt it without H. John Benjamin, aka Bob himself, present. Present. Even Bob has only been able to successfully create it twice, and we saw it happen in the episode Burger Wars. He cooked it as a last-ditch effort to entice customers into his burger joint and out of Pesto's Pizza Place across the street. Fortunately, Bob's successful creation convinced Mr. Fishoder to let the Belchers keep their restaurant, so it really is our savior. Who would have thought? Thanks for watching the top 10 Bob's Burgers of the day. Which one do you want to try the most? What other ones should have made the list? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked the video, make sure to hit subscribe so you can catch all of our latest videos. And remember, Frederator loves you.